Well, today's the day. It's moving day. We're moving to Florida. Cowie? Cowie, you want to go for an adventure? You want to go for an adventure? Hey guys, if we're meeting for the first time, I'm Mike. I'm Stephanie. We are Life Rerouted. We've been on the road since 2016 and full-time RVing since 2018. If you've been following along with us, you know that we've been in Indiana for several months, actually around our family. It's been really nice, but it's time to move on. We don't really have a plan. Normally, I am very type A. I plan out every stop, find cool things along the way. I don't have a plan. That's okay, that's kind of the name of our channel, Life Rerouted. We will reroute several times today, I'm sure. Um, but we have several days, like Mike said, on the road to get to Florida, hopefully see some friends along the way, be safe, and have fun. to them super nice they said we could park here on the side so the RV spots here were really narrow and they weren't we're a 29 foot travel trailer and we were hanging out the back quite a bit so I asked them if we could park here on the side and she said oh yeah oh yeah honey management lets them do that all the time super nice so we're here our first cracker our barrel first stay. cracker barrel stop we getting breakfast? Uh, yeah. 7 a.m. That's what she said they open anyway. <laughs> <laughs> See how the camper looks, guys. Oh, not bad. Not bad. The ottoman slid out so. A little. Oh, uh, the drawers opened up. Oh yeah, look. Uh, well. The curtain rod fell. We'll make that a little tighter, but not bad for its first trip. Right, Mike? Not too bad. What do you think, Kelly? It's breakfast time, Schmoop. Did you cook? <laughs> I picked up. Wait, wait, don't leave me with no coffee. Wait, come back. much sleep last night <laughs> <laughs> our first cracker barrel stay yeah. what'd you think it was nice but we parked right next to the delivery door apparently yeah. so we weren't really thinking that we'd get woke up like five or six times <laughs> it's kind of my fault because the the rv spots are kind of narrow and short and on a slant and I was like, why don't we just park over there? So Mike went in and asked, and they're like, oh, sure, park wherever, it's fine. So we're like, oh, yeah, we're awesome. We got a better parking spot. No. No. Maybe not. <laughs> Dumpsters got emptied at 3.30 <laughs> and 4.30, and deliveries started at, like, 5.45. Yeah. So. So we're tired this tired. morning. But, oh, well, yeah. it was free. It was free. I'm grateful got, for free. We got breakfast this morning, so that was nice. Coffee. We decided to go home. If you don't know, I'm a travel nurse and we take assignments all over the country and we've been gone from home, Indiana, for about four years. The longest we've been at home has been a week or two over the past four years, but we decided to take a contract, 
back home and then take a month off afterwards. So we were with our family and some of our friends for about four months straight. It was comfortable. We know which grocery store has the best prices and when the specials are at our favorite restaurants, that kind of stuff. And just being close to our family and friends is was really good. Yeah. So for us to leave home was a lot more difficult than we thought. So yeah. we didn't want to sugarcoat any of this. Traveling full time isn't always rainbows and butterflies. Yeah. It's giving things up and trying to figure out what's best for you and leaving home sometimes. Yeah. So now that we're done playing the world's smallest violin for you all, <laughs> we're going back to our favorite travel nurse assignment. We're going to spend a couple days around some of our friends there. We're not going to spoil where that's going to be at just yet. But if you guys know us, you'll know where we're going. And if you don't, then you can find out next week. One of our favorite RV parks, one of our favorite cities, and some of our favorite people there. So we're excited to check that out. We're excited to hit the road again. Fresh out of Cracker Barrel. And coffee. All the <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Thanks for coming along with us, guys. I hope you had some fun on the road trip. I hope you learned some tips and tricks about where to park at a Cracker Barrel parking lot. Not next to the service door. Where not to park. <laughs> if you guys are new here, consider subscribing and follow along with our little adventure. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.